everyone and welcome back to Stamp with Anna. And this week I am going to show you some cards that are made with the Berry Blessings bundle that you can get for free through the end of February with a hundred dollar purchase. It's part of the celebration special that Stampin' Up! is, is um, running. I love this bundle so much that I am posting every single day this week. I usually post three projects a week, sometimes less than that, but I've been trying to go for three po three projects a week, but um, I just love this one so much. I have five projects ready to go. So this is the first one and it's absolutely adorable. I made it um, to look like a little envelope and then when you open it up, there's your Christmas card. I guess it's kind of an easel card, not an easel card, a gatefold card, kind of, sort of. It's a play on a gatefold. So it's really pretty easy to use, to make. So let me get started and I'll show you. Um, last week, you'll recall, I posted um, three projects that I made with the Sweet Strawberry bundle. It comes with the Sweet Strawberry stamp set and the Build a Strawberry um, Punch. I did post, the first day I posted was a tip on how to line up all of your um, your stamps. On the second day, I posted this um, double Z card. And on the last day, or the third day I should say, I posted this cute little basket of strawberries for a birthday. So this week's projects are going to, some of them are going to feature that same bundle, the sweet strawberry bundle, but they're also going to feature what you can get for free with Celebration, and it is the Berry Blessings um, bundle. Here you have, again, it's two-step stamping, just like the strawberry one, and it is distinctive, just like the strawberry one, so you have that same shading. And the other one had all strawberries, and this one has raspberries and blueberries, and it has some really cute sentiments. And it also... The freebie also comes with this great paper. And I just don't know what to cut first. Look at this, it is just so gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it. I have a real, I love blueberries and I love Maine. So Maine blueberries are, are right up my alley and I can't wait to use this to show you the project I used, I made with that paper. This is the paper we're gonna to use today this red check with these different color strawberries. And then there's um, also this blueberry, strawberry, raspberry on the green check. Like I said, it is a tier, what they used to call a tier two free item. So you spend $100 and you can get that stamp set and that bundle of package of paper for free. So without further ado, let's get started on today's project. If there's a downside to the project, which I really don't think there is, but if there is, it is that you're only going to get one card out of an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. Normally, depending on how you cut it, you would get two eight two size cards. This one, you're only going to use, only going to get one. And this is cut five and a half by 11. And I'm going to bring in my scoreboard and do my scoring with you. I'm going to score this at three. Make sure I have the right blade. <laughs> I'm going to score that at three and at seven and a quarter. And when I fold this up, it's going to be a regular A2 card. Fold these pieces in. This is the short, I'll do it this way. This is the three inch side, and this is the seven and a quarter. And so this card, as it goes in the envelope, is four and a quarter, you can see that. Four and a quarter by five and a half. So it is a regular A2 size card. So now that we have this, this is going to open this way. So this obviously is the bottom and this is the flap. And we have to cut this so that we can make this envelope peak. 
And to do that, I'm going to bring in a ruler and I'm going to turn this over. This here, like I said, was five and a half. So half of five and a half is two and three quarters. So I'm going to bring my ruler up here and I'm going to make a light tick mark at two and three quarters. And I'm going to use a mechanical pencil because I find that that's the, the, the easiest to erase, okay? Then I'm going to come down on either side from this score line, okay? And I'm going to come up and make a tick mark at one and a half on either side. So one and a half over there. And see, so here's where I'm start. I'm, I'm, I'm measuring from this little um, fold, the uh, crease line. So I have one and a half. See? There we go. Oh, excuse me. One and a half right there. All right. So now I have to cut that peak. So I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. And I need to cut this off and this off. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to put this little tick mark right in that groove there where I cut. And I'm going to swing my paper around so that this other tick mark is in this groove. So I have one tick mark in there and one tick mark down here. I'm going to drop the arm and cut. And see, I have that. Now I'm just going to erase my tick marks. Not that tick mark anyway. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. I'm going to put this tick mark right here and this tick mark right up on that one. And then I'm gonna slice that. And if I did it right, and I have equal um, cut marks, my two triangles will be the same. Okay, so there we have our fold. Wasn't that easy to make? I just wanna erase my tick marks just a little better for you. So now I have my designer series paper and I cut this five and a quarter excuse me I believe it was five and a quarter yes five and a quarter and I cut it down I just cut a, uh, a 12 inch piece I'm not going to use the whole thing but I just made one slice so it's five and a quarter by 12 and I'm going to Turn it on the long side, and I'm going to cut one piece out at two and three quarters, and another one at three and one half. Okay. So this one here, that is five and a quarter by two and three quarters, we're going to use the back side. And this one here, that is five and one quarter by three and a half, we're gonna use this side. So now we have to, okay, so now I've brought in my um, other piece of designer series paper, the other one that was cut at five and a quarter by three and a half. And now I have to do the same cutting to make that fit to be matted right here. So this is five and five and a quarter. So half of five and a quarter is two and five eighths. So I'm gonna bring my ruler in two and five eighths and make a tick. And then from the bottom up, I'm going to come up an inch and a half. Now I know we came out up an inch and a half last time and you would think, well, now you should come up an inch and a quarter. I don't do geometry very well. so. I don't know why, but one and a quarter didn't work, so I went back to one and a half. And it's still not perfect, but it'll it'll work for me. So I'm going to take that tick mark, just like we did before, and put it inside the track of my paper trimmer. And I'm going to swing this tick mark over so it's in the track 
of my paper trimmer and I'm gonna slice. And I'm gonna do the same on this side. That tick mark is in the track and this tick mark is in the track. Okay, and I'm going to slice. Like last time, if I've cut them right, my two triangles will be the same size, and they are. Now, I'm not gonna guarantee you that this is gonna be a perfect border because like I said, the geometry was not my strong suit in school. And let's give it a whirl. All right, not perfect, but you know what? I can live with that. I think I need a new blade on my, on my paper trimmer. Let me just sand this off a little so it's smoother. When, when your paper starts to fray like that, that means it's time to replace your paper, your trimmer blade. Okay, so now we have everything all cut. So all we have to do is put it together. So this side here with the um, red plaid, I'm going to bring in my stamp and seal. We're going to attach that to the bottom. And this one here, if you feel like you might have to wiggle it a little bit to get it exactly where it should belong, rather than use your stamp and seal, I suggest a little bit of liquid glue. That will give you a few minutes to be able to move it around so you get it exactly where you want it. So I'm gonna bring it in. And like I said, it's not perfect. I'm gonna have to um, talk to my math teacher customer and have her explain to me why I had to still come down this one and a half inches instead of one and a quarter, even though I was making everything at quarter inch smaller. And I'll let you know what she tells me. Okay, so here's my card. Now we're going to do our stamping. I have a little piece of Whisper White, which is one and a quarter by two and a half. And then I have another piece, basic, well, it, this is Whisper White, but it's been replaced with Basic White. And this is four by um, five and a quarter. And the stamps I'm gonna use, I'm going to use one from each of the stamps. From the Berry Blessings, which is the free one, I'm gonna use this one here, wishing you the very best. And from the Sweet Strawberry, I'm gonna use this one here, Happy Birthday, You Sweet Thing. So Happy Birthday, You Sweet Thing is going to be on the outside of my card. So I'm gonna stamp that on the little tag. And I do want to bring in my pierce mat because it is a photopolymer stamp. And when I stamp it, I want it over to the right a little bit because I do have a ribbon I'm going to put on it. Okay, so I'm going to ink that up. And I'm going to center it top to bottom, but I'm going to bring it over to the right side. Straight down straight up. Happy birthday, you sweet thing. And then I'm going to bring in the four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to stamp up wishing you the very best. And I'm going to stamp that straight down, straight up. I just love this poppy parade. I honestly, I hadn't used it a lot. Um, I, I always tended to go towards real red, but I just love this now. So now I'm going to mount this happy birthday. And I have a piece of um, Poppy Parade that is one and a half by two and three quarters. I'm going to put a little bit of stamp and seal. Center that. And now I have a um, retired ribbon. And I know it's, it's, I shouldn't be using retired ribbon because you can't get it if you want it. But any um, ribbon that you have that is 
in the same colors that is in this um, paper, which is, there's a lot of them. There's um, Old Olive, there's um, uh, Shaded Spruce, the Poppy Parade, the Rich Raspberry, uh, all of the different shades of green. So anything that you have would work. I happen to have this uh, Pierre Pizzazz cotton and I really liked it. So I'm going to bring this over to the right side and I'm gonna just tie a knot. Here we go. I'm going to cut my tails. And I'm just going to adjust that to where I want it. Now I'm going to put that right here. So I'm going to put a little bit of Stampin' Seal right there. And I'm going to put that down, center it. And I did decide to leave the little peak showing. And this one here for the inside. Now, the way I made this card close, I had, I added this little fastener there. And I got these from Amazon and they're removable mounting, um, Velcro mounting. They're um, very, very thin and they're tiny. They're three eighths of an inch. So when I put them together, <clears throat> obviously with Velcro, you have um, the two different sides, the soft side and the sticky side. So what I did was I peeled one side off and placed it where I wanted it to be. And I peeled, this is the sticky side, the rough side. Then I peeled the smooth side off. And I attached it as if I were putting it together. Now these are self-adhesive, so you don't have to add any, um, any adhesive. So it's there. And I'm going to bring my flap up and this flap down and press. And that way I know for sure that I have it. They're not wonky. They're going to line up perfectly. So there we go. I just love this card and I cannot wait to give it to someone for their birthday. So there's that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions about this project or any of the products I use, certainly contact me through my blog, www.stampwithanna.blogspot.com. And don't forget, if you want to get these, this free, um, stamp set and coordinating paper put in your hundred dollar order and you'll be able to get that for free but the offer ends february 28th if you don't have a stampin up demonstrator with whom you work and you'd like to receive a catalog certainly contact me and i'll be glad to um, send that off to you and i hope that you will subscribe to my channel so that when you log on to youtube and hit your subscriptions you'll be able to see if i have any new videos posted. Like I said, I will be posting five this week, all using um, this portions of these two coordinating bundles. Thanks so much. Have a great day and I'll see you back here tomorrow.